Hello, my name's Dr. Matt Capp from Capitalize Education. Today, let's have a chat about students on the autism spectrum who are twice exceptional. Students on the autism spectrum who are twice and exceptional can be challenging for teachers because their functional impact needs to be supported. They also need to be enriched or extended in their areas of where they are gifted or talented. All students on the autism spectrum are different. As the saying goes, once you've met one student on the autism spectrum, you've met one student on the autism spectrum. For this reason, no one approach is useful for supporting all students who are on the autism spectrum who are gifted and talented. This is why the Universal Design for Learning framework is so useful. For a student on the autism spectrum, they might demonstrate difficulties, challenges, or functional impact in the areas of social interaction, communication, sensory processing, executive functioning, restricted behaviors or repetitive interests. By functional impact, we mean there is a negative impact blocking access to the learning process, classroom, playground, or curriculum. This, in this case, if there is a functional impact, classroom teachers could look at the Universal Design for Learning framework as a way of supporting these students. For students on the autism spectrum who are twice exceptional, in addition to their functional impact, they also need to be extended and enriched in the areas where they are gifted or talented. This is also where the Universal Design for Learning Framework comes in useful. The Universal Design for Learning Framework consists of three main principles. Principle one is the idea that teachers engage students in the learning process in multiple ways. Principle two is the idea that teachers represent information to students in multiple ways. Principle three is the idea that students can demonstrate their knowledge and understanding in multiple ways. These three principles are underpinned by nine guidelines and 31 checkpoints, which are more specific ways of supporting students. These guidelines and checkpoints are divided into three main layers. The first layer is called access. These guidelines and checkpoints are designed to help students access the learning process, curriculum, classroom or playground to overcome their barriers to learning. The second layer is build. These are designed to help students build on their skills and strategies to help them to continue to overcome their barriers to the learning process, playground, classroom, or curriculum. The final layer is internalized to help students to develop strategies to internalize those skills and strategies they've already developed to overcome their barriers to the learning process. For students on the autism spectrum who are twice exceptional, the three layers of the UDL guidelines and checkpoints can be useful to support the functional impact associated with the characteristics of autism. They can also be used to extend and enrich a student on the autism spectrum who's twice exceptional. The guidelines and checkpoints in the areas of access and build can be used to support a student on the autism spectrum to help overcome their functional impact. In the areas where a student is gifted and talented and need to be enriched and extended, a classroom teacher could look at the guidelines and checkpoints in the areas of build and internalize as a way of progressing and pushing a student forward. So the Universal Design for Learning framework can be used to support a student on the autism spectrum who's twice exceptional to address their functional impact as well as to progress and push and extend them forward. Anytime that a teacher uses the Universal Design for Learning framework to support a student during the planning, teaching and assessment cycle, it's really important that they think about how are they gonna develop independence in their student. This is because students on the autism spectrum need to develop internal strategies to support them to develop independence to access the learning process.